Hello, welcome to Jocelyn Civil. This is the first tutorial in rainfall runoff model of hydrology. In this model, we will learn how the Crawford model works. It is a rainfall runoff model. It means the input is rainfall and the output is discharge, that is runoff. Let us assume there is rainfall input to the soil storage, soil moisture, and there is already some moisture present in the soil. Now there is actual evapotranspiration as well. So the difference between to the existing soil moisture, the PPT will be added, which is the precipitation will be added and it will be subtracted, which will give us the water balance. From the water balance, if it crosses the threshold, then there will be exit of water. That will be the excess moisture from the soil. Now from the excess moisture, some will be used to recharge the groundwater and some will be the direct flow that is the runoff on the surface of the earth. So how much will be the recharge to the ground groundwater is controlled by P sub and when multiplied by P sub, it will be the groundwater recharge and remaining would be the direct flow. Now direct flow and again from the groundwater, there is expulsion of water. How much the water will be expelled? from the groundwater depends upon the groundwater flow. This is a ratio of how much water would be exit and how much would remain here. Now this water and the direct runoff joins at a point and becomes the total runoff. IGW is the initial groundwater. So these four are the parameters initial moisture, nominal, P sub, GWF and IGW. Initial moisture content is the initial moisture content of this soil to which the precipitation is added. and when both are summed and AT is subtracted, we will get water balance. To find AT, we will use graph where we know the AT by PT ratio. And already we know PT, which is calculated from methods available. So this is a monthly model. So we will use Penman equation to get the monthly PT. And once we get AT, how much would be out from this soil? would be dependent upon the nominal. So this nominal decides how much would be the exit water. If the threshold is crossed, then there will be excess moisture. If threshold is not crossed, there would not be any excess moisture and there would not be any other these flows. So nominal controls how much water is exit. And when we have excess moisture, we will use P sub to recharge the ground. Remaining would be direct flow. And once groundwater is reached, this recharge and initial groundwater is added. And by multiplying GWF ratio, we will get how much water would be expelled from the groundwater. These two joins at a point and we get the total discharge. This is how the Crawford model works. It is a very simple rainfall runoff model. We give input rainfall and we get the output runoff. Now let's see how this program works. So this has a very big table. You have to calculate each table. And in the end, you will know the observed flow. The input would be catchment area, PPT, and PET. Now, let's see the table. This is the table which would be calculated. So, this is an Excel file. Now, we will do it in program to simply get the same result. And we will simulate it as well as optimize it. IMS is the initial moisture content, nominal, P sub, GWF, and this is the efficiency. And here, if we put 50, then the result would be all, then the best result above 50 would be displayed here. And IGW is the initial groundwater. So these are the parameters we need to initialize first. And then we will use the range between which the equation will be solved. And the best efficiency would be selected, which will be displayed as a graph here. Now I have a file already prepared the download link of this software would be given in the description once you download it extract it and then go to hydrology then bean debug and then open this application software hydrology now once we have opened we need to use a file already given here I go to hydrology, then model, choose Crawford model and proceed.
now you will end up with this window you can put your data in this format the software accepts the excel file in this format ims nominal psop gwf nas it will read all this data and right here and year data month ppt pt and observed flow so observed flow is given input we will simulate a flow and between them we will find nas efficiency so we have data from 1976 to 1980 it means how many years we have data one two three four five we have five years data put year number equals to five and start year is 1976 start year is important because you may encounter you may encounter leap year so from the start year here we have encountered one leap year at the end now right click and click on the import file from excel close this file choose Crawford copy you can make your own file wait until it is imported now once imported you can see here 5 1926 this is the area and these are the initial parameters now you can change the range between which you want to simulate or between which you want to optimize so this will not used for the simulation this should be used for simulation this will be used for optimization you can vary the range but remember these are the default range given between which this actual value lies you can't make it 0.9 because the actual range lies between 0.2 to 0.8 so you can vary it to make it shorter or but you cannot enlarge it right click and put simulate so once you click simulate it will simply use these values and simulate once and give the result or fill the table here now you can see the NAS efficiency is 81 and we, you can put here any threshold suppose 50 60 or any NAS efficiency you want all you need to do is you need to write the percentage here so if you get while optimizing if you get 59% NAS efficiency then it will be ignored if you get 61% 65% 70% then 75% 75% then 75% would be selected the best NAS efficiency would be selected and it will be displayed here so you have to put the threshold here now you need to optimize so to optimize you need to change the range here if you want or leave the default value click here optimize and wait for a while until it computes So it did a total of 1568 computation. Now you can see here, this is the optimized parameter. So you can use right click and use the optimized parameter. The optimized parameter would be copied here. Use the optimized parameter. These all the optimized parameter went into these parameters now once there is changes the graph automatically changes or you can also put simulate but there will be no sense because it has already been calculated now you can see the NAS efficiency is 89 percent you can change this range also to shorten it if you know otherwise leave it as it is now this is the this is how Crawford model is Crawford model works and you can download the software and use it all you need to do is prepare the input values and then simply click to optimize it now you can export the data to excel as well selected data or if you want to select a data then you click here export and select it grid only if you want to export all of them then click here all cells export completed you will get the best fit parameter and the calculated table
now you can copy from the grid paste instead of importing from the excel you could have copied and pasted as well paste to the grid cells it would have worked but it is better to import from the excel file now you can save this graph as well save graph crop board saved to now this is the location where it will be saved it will be saved in the location where this program starts the program started in bean debug and here's where the graph will be saved okay Thank you for watching. This is how the Crawford model or the rainfall runoff model works, where the rainfall is input and runoff is the output.